Good evening, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrocca on the Pinpoint Forecast Center with your weather web update. Storm on the way. The front part of it will be a springtime rainstorm on the back side. Bitter cold, a little bit of ice, a little bit of snow, and some wind chills below zero. So bottom line, big changes next 12 to 18 hours. Radar shows just plain rain working in. Temperatures are still in the 50s at this hour. Now at the campus at URI, the snow pretty much gone, bare ground. But we do have significant changes on the way, which includes a little bit of snow. Most of the storm will be in the form of rain. It's very mild, cloudy, breezy. A few showers now in downtown Providence, out across Newport Harbor now. Some rain showers and some reduced visibility and mild temperatures as well. As we widen out the view, storm coming out of the Midwest. And on the northern portion of it, it's a very heavy snowstorm for northern New England. The green is plain rain. And now as the storm pulls away, colder, sharply colder air will arrive after mid Midnight and some of the snow will pinwheel through for several hours tomorrow morning. Most of the moisture with the storm should be gone by that time, but we think enough moisture for perhaps a coating to an inch of snow uh, by tomorrow morning. Future cast shows us very well starting off this evening and the front portion of the storm with some rain heavy at times, perhaps even the rumble of thunder as late as 10 11 o'clock tonight. It is still raining with heavy snow in northern New England. Storm pulls away, winds pick up and the temperatures tumble rapidly uh, after midnight tonight through tomorrow morning. Here we are at 5 a.m. with some snow showers and snow squalls coming through, and it may be enough to coat the ground. The real concern here is, though, is that the, the ground will be wet, obviously, from the rain, and there won't be any evaporation of the water off the pavement. And with temperatures perhaps dropping 10, 15 degrees in just a two-hour period, it'll immediately turn to black ice. It's what we call a flash freeze. So you get black ice, you get a coating or an inch of snow on top of the black ice, and boy, it becomes very slippery and difficult early tomorrow morning. 10 o'clock in the morning, the storm is pulling away, but the wind is howling. The temperature is only 20, 25, and the wind chills are near zero. So just a kind of a, a winter slap in the face come tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon after being very mild today with temperatures in the 50s. A real huge dumping of snow in ski country, upstate New York, northern Vermont, uh, Maine, and New Hampshire. One to two feet of snow possible. Notice further to the south, nothing more than a coating uh, to an inch. So the real hefty snow is obviously being reserved for far uh, northern New England. As the storm center pulls away uh, tomorrow morning, on the back side of it, boy, the colder air rushing in with a rapid temperature drop starting around, say, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning and right on through the uh, afternoon hours. Uh, a coating of snow for most, there may be an isolated two inch amount in a far northern suburbs, but I would say on average about a coating to one inch, and that's really all it takes to cause some slipperiness on untreated surfaces. Now, now, no ice, no snow for this evening, but rather periods of rain, 40s and 50s. Could even be the rumble of thunder. Here's the rapid temperature drop. Notice at 8 o'clock in the evening, it's springtime, but the rapid drop in temperature overnight. So by 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, it is falling fast, and wet pavement flash freezes into uh, black ice and why untreated surfaces will be very slippery. So here comes winter in a big fashion on Thursday, not in terms of snow amounts, but there will be some slipperiness and some ice, but rather the huge drop in temperature, the increase in winds and the wind chills. Uh, Friday, not quite as biting. A few rain showers, milder on Saturday, 46. Not bad for Sunday, 42. And then we're back to very cold weather with snow showers on Monday. And this is the time of year, you know, March and April, where you get into the kind of these roller coaster rides where you get these big swings in temperature from day to day where it feels like spring one day and winter the next and that's pretty much the weather pattern that we're in the next several days.